Welcome to the CSS basic section. So far, we have used HTML to put content on our web page. Now, we'll use some basic CSS to actually style that content to make it look the way we want it. After this section, you will be able to build a simple layout with some formatted content. We will continue to work on this simple blog post web page that I showed you before. So we will add some more content, build a simple layout and style the whole thing. After this section, we will be ready to start on our killer website project. So, what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS defines exactly how HTML elements should look. It allows us to make a clear separation between content and style. HTML is the content and CSS is the style. These two images show the exact same HTML with the only difference that the website on the left side has not been formatted with CSS yet. It's just bare HTML which doesn't look very good, of course. So how are we going to use CSS in practice? There are three ways to use CSS. First, we can write CSS code right inside an HTML tag using the style attribute. Second, we can write CSS code in the head section of an HTML document. And third, CSS code can be put into an external file. And this is what we're actually going to do. Remember what I said about how CSS allows us to separate content from style? That is why we'll put all our visual styles in a separate file. This is a much cleaner solution and therefore everybody does it that way. So let's go back to brackets and do this. So let's start by creating a new file just as we did before with the HTML file. So file new and then save it with command S or control S and I will call it style.css Okay, that's it. You see? Now it appears here in our project folder. Now I'm going to go back to the HTML file because now we have to tell the HTML file in which CSS file the new styles will be. So to link these two documents we use the link tag in the HTML head. Just like this. Link. And this is another element which has no closing tag. It's just link. I hope you remember HTML attributes because we will use them right now. So to start, we tell the browser that we want to link a style sheet. It's rel and style sheet. Then next, we tell the HTML document that it is a CSS file. And finally, with the href attribute we used before for our links, we tell the document where the CSS styles are. Style.css, which is the file we just created before. So I hit enter, and now these two documents are linked. Alright, now we are ready to start writing some CSS. And let's do that in the next lecture.